Welcome for whatever my friend's Republic Let's Play. I'm your guys are my name's friend John, and thank you very much for watching. Let's go ahead and get started here. So, the million dollar question is, how are we going to get onto the shoreline of England? And one thing that uh, I noticed uh, while I was, I guess, fixing my last uh, episode, which is part whatever, is, if you want to pause the video right now, you can do too long. Is that they are? I mean, come on, Russia. You can do better than that. I know you can. And it probably has something to do with the fact that um, oh dear, that uh, you know they're fighting now on two sides. So maybe they'll get their act together, and hopefully we won't have to intervene. Otherwise, it's going to really suck. Anyways. And, yeah, one thing that I noticed was, it. I think it was Portugal that ended up actually, like, landing on, like, this part, like, right here. And I didn't notice. And if I did notice, I was definitely going to help. But, I wasn't. Uh, now they're in middle, middle Europa. That really does suck. Okay. Anyways, um, so yeah, I'm thinking that I think that the best option is to train these guys to mac, you know, to the ma maximum, to their maximum, and just have all twenty five of them at once land on one of the naval bases. So that's what we're gonna do with this fourth uh, research slot. We're going to begin researching um, better transports, which actually is a very, very long time to do. It's 536 days. It's not the kind of time I want to spend on it, so I guess uh, we're just not going to. And I'm going to spend uh, it on different stuff, so that's that. Does remind me how? Yeah, we don't have much light tanks to start investing in our in a uh, light tank army. Oh wow! The Ottoman Empire has declared war on uh, on Yemen. Interesting. Um, if you want to pause the video and read that, you can in 3, 2, 1. Because that looks pretty interesting. Yeah, it looks like... I mean, at least Ukraine hasn't fallen yet, but it's on its way, definitely. Luckily, I think it's going to take um, that city falling for them to finally capitulate. So they do have a little bit more longer. All we need is just for them to last a couple more years. Alright, let's check this real quick. Okay, so 134 um, ships. Which means that we are off by half. We need to double our army. Um, DRA. Is DRA... Yeah, that. Okay. No. So, popular uh, support. For the army is a metro crap ton. <sighs> you know, I was wondering why my um, my room smells like outside. That's actually because of the fact that my door, I mean, not my door. I left uh, I left the the window open. 
That's the one thing that happens whenever you leave your window open. It makes your room smell like outside. There's really hardly a reason for us to invest in mountain infantry. Or mountaineers, I mean. Oh well. Um. Wow, that's quite unbelievable. 87% of people likes this guy. Actually, it's sort of... No, yeah, it's still a little unbelievable because of the fact that we literally just... Like, the amount of culture that's changed because of the, fact, because of the revolution, you know, makes... A very high po party popularity, um, unlikely. And there you go. The Combined Syndicates of America has won. Which means that... Okay, we're going to guarantee the independence of that guy. And... We're also going to improve relations, even though our relations is... Oh, there you go. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. You're going positive the other day. You can have 3-2-1. Um, the relations actually improves by a lot whenever you guarantee a nation, which I wouldn't, I wouldn't say is shocking, but the amount that it improves it by is... Uh, unexpected. Okay, how many units do we want to invest in the defense? Yeah, 25 is a good number. So let's go ahead and have them occupy this uh, bit of land right there. That way they're ready to zoom on down um, the PSA, CSA front. Looks like. do we have here? Okay, good. They are actually moving at a relatively good pace. Um, yeah, so we're going to contribute a little bit. We're going to send 25 Marine Divisions at Scrappa Flow. Please tell me that that has... Wow, a level 8 naval base. That's pretty exciting. There we go, all 25 of them, sweet. There we go. Alright, let's secure till there. Yeah, there we go.
Okay, let's let's chill out a little bit. Uh, cautious man. Let's wait until we can get uh, those mountaineer divisions up there. The Flemish uh, Republic has landed also. Uh, that's quite disappointing. And reinforcements are on the way. That will help us get through Scotland. That's going to be one of the major uh, difficulties whenever it comes to the liberation of uh, the Great British Isle is the fact that We're going to have to deal with the mountains of Scotland. Let's go ahead and set our land leases. And let's upgrade our stuff. Looks like the German Empire has managed to, uh, looks like they're going to get to London first, like they got to Paris first. That is a darn shame. And we, those mountaineers better get here quick. Okay, good. They're, they're about a third of the way there. Not even that, really, but oh well. If I'm positive, I don't want to read that. You can improve if you want. Okay, yeah, let's get that extra research slot pronto. pronto. And yeah, that seems like a worthwhile investment. Once again, another landing on England. Uh-oh, that is not good at all. Of course. Yeah, 
Yeah, there we go. Unbelievable. All right, let's train a hundred um, marine divisions. Okay, fifty. Looks like the CSA is just flying a war go against um, the PSA, which is, which sucks like a lot. Building more naval bases will hopefully help the AI plan more. And Ukraine has capitulated. It seems like it's only a minute of time before Russia um, falls. I have no doubt that they will fall now. This is ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. Encourage free thought. Wow, you did a good job. You did it. Oh. So, good job, Russia. I mean, you tried, but just like you did in the First World War. Um, yeah. Glad you're not actually in the war. And <laughs> it looks like we were actually able to get our hands on uh, on the Isle of Man right there. Excellent. Amazing. Okay, well, with the English Channel firmly in our hands, I think it's time to show a little bit of power against uh, the Germans, and let's go ahead and border them. Well, not we're bordering. Why? Why? Why did you do that? What was the reasoning behind that, Mr. Jan Christian Smuts? I don't understand. Can you please explain to me? Because I don't understand at all. So I want to expand the metal industry. 
get us one step closer towards that final research slot that we need. Go ahead and get that uh, medium tank. Awesome. Because I think it's going to be time to start investing in, uh, in the armor divisions. One day. That's, that's quite amazing, really. Um, but let's... Let's go and yeah, I guess we'll get that. Why not? And um, I guess we'll get that too. Hopefully we'll get that mass 40 too. Ah, dang it. Oh well. 11 dice for that. Don't mind if I do. Wait, what's this? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I forgot to um, point this out. But, I mean, Britain's certainly a powerhouse right now, which is not very surprising. I mean, that's a pretty good uh, population pool to utilize. We can declare war on Germany in, in less than 15 days. Um, the question is, should we do it? Let's go ahead and... Let's improve relations with uh, Poland. And declare war on Germany. But in the next episode, if you like what you see, don't forget to like and subscribe. You can be a spark in the process and take it easy.